Hello, Randy Johnson with 4th Generation Software here, makers of Fitrix ERP. This Fitrix product video describes an overview of the manufacturing modules within the product. Fitrix manufacturing comprises new modules that allow a company to define, produce, and plan manufactured items within the enterprise. Manufacturing modules are included within multiple module families. Within item management are modules for bills of material, standard routings, standard costing, and the product configurator. Bill of Materials defines the relationships between manufactured items and the subassemblies, raw material, and purchase components that are used in the production process. Standard routing specifies process steps required to produce an item. These steps can be assigned standard or expected times to complete and can use resources like work centers, departments, machines, teams, and groups. Capacities for these resources can also be defined for later use in other modules. Standard costing provides standard or expected cost breakdowns for manufactured items. Costs can be defined for material, labor, overhead, outside process, as well as other user-defined cost elements. These costs can serve as the basis for comparison to actual costs incurred during production. The product configurator allows you to define manufactured items that consist of a combination of pre-selected components and labor, as well as optional material, processes, and miscellaneous charges that can be selected when orders are placed. Within production management are modules for production orders, production scheduling, labor processing, and actual costing. Production orders control the production of batches of end items from components and process steps. Production orders use standard bills of material and standard routings along with order quantities and due dates to specify when items should be produced, what materials should be issued to work in process, and resources to be used to produce. Production scheduling gives visibility into production resources and how they are being used to manufacture items. It uses resources defined in standard routing, along with production orders, to show where resources are over or underutilized. It also provides scheduling display and reports to assist schedulers in deciding the priority and sequence of production work to be performed. Actual costing details differences between standard or expected costs and actual costs incurred on production orders. Cost variances can be analyzed and booked to accounting and used to adjust standard costs for future use. Within production planning are modules for master scheduling, material planning, and capacity planning. Master scheduling gives strategic production planners a way to create production plans analyze the feasibility of plans relative to enterprise resources, and communicate a master production plan to the material planning module. The material planning module compares item level demand from sales forecasts, sales orders, and component requirements to inventory balances and scheduled receipts from production and purchasing. The result of this balancing process is a list of planned orders to be reviewed and released to production and purchasing to satisfy overall demand. Recommendations are also generated for open orders to defer, expedite, or cancel depending on requirements. Capacity planning provides a resource forecast based on open and planned production orders. It uses resources defined in standard routing, along with planned and open production orders, to show where resources are over or underutilized on a more long-term basis than the production scheduling module. Other videos are available describing some of the modules just discussed in more detail. Please refer to them for more in-depth discussions of their features and functions. This concludes the Manufacturing Overview presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at the toll-free number listed on our website or email us at info at Thank you for your time.